Hello, welcome to 9-4. Uh, in this video, we are going to be solving context problems with logarithmic models, and we'll also be evaluating logarithmic expressions with a calculator, okay? So we'll go ahead and start there. And here, um, logarithmic models can be used to represent many real-world situations. These models often use base 10 or base E logarithm, okay, and these are these are the two very very important logarithms that we will be using going forward. And a calculator is often needed to evaluate the function model for the conditions in a problem. Okay, so when we're evaluating or approximating the value of logarithms with a scientific calculator, again, base 10 logarithm is what we call the common log. And this is what the common log looks like. It's just log of x. It's kind of like the invisible uh, base. Okay, so anytime you just see log of x, it's a base 10 logarithm. Now, the other type of logarithm that we use and that appears um, a lot in real world context applications is base E. We call this the natural logarithm and it is abbreviated as ln of x. Okay, so for example, if I was to calculate log 15, that is really log base 10 of 15. And if I was to calculate the natural log of 15, that is log base E of 15. Okay, so both of these can be evaluated in a calculator and it's very important to differentiate between these two uh, functions because the log of 15 is different from the natural log of 15. Okay, and in order to use these, we'll use the log key for common log and we'll use the ln key for a natural log, very straightforward, right? So let's go ahead and use our scientific calculators to approximate each logarithm, verify each result by evaluating the appropriate exponential expression, round all answers to three decimal places. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and um, plug these in to our calculators, okay? So log of 13, well, it's important to note that this is log base 10 of 13, okay, and you will go ahead and find this on your calculator. Now, I'm going to be using a TI Inspire, which is different from what you have, but um, to access your, your common log and your log, it kind of looks the same. If you, if you look over here, you'll see e to the power of x, and you'll see 10 to the power of x. Well, again, remember logarithms and exponentials are inverses, so to access the um, the inverse, all we're gonna hit, hit is the second button, so on your calculator will be a second, on the TI Inspire it's a control, and I'm gonna punch in log. Now, um, oh, I gotta go ahead and I guess open up a calculator first. Okay, so control, log. Now with a TI Inspire, um, you're able to punch in a base. So a TI Inspire can actually evaluate logarithms with different types of bases. If you just have a regular scientific calculator, uh, it will all automatically be log base 10. Okay, and we are evaluating, um, I believe it was 13. So I punch in 13 and we get this value. Okay, and we want three decimal places or more. So 1.114. 1. 114, 1.114, okay? Now, if I wanna go ahead and verify this, because that's what the, the problem asks us to do, um, with an exponential expression, we're just gonna go ahead and rewrite this. This is 10 to the power of 1.114, and we wanna see, is this approximately 13? So, I'll go back to my calculator, and I'll punch in 10, to the power of 1.114, and we get 13.002. So approximately 13.002. So this, this is verified. All right, now we're asked to go ahead and evaluate the natural log of, of 13, okay? So the natural log of, of 13, sorry, I wanna write this here, 114, is log base E of 13. Okay, but in our calculator, again, this is going to be the natural log of 13. So go back to the calculator. I will hit the control, or in your case, the second button, and I'll hit uh, e to the power of x, which activates the natural log function, natural log of 13. I hit enter, and we get 2.565. 2.565. Five. 
So approximately 2.565. Okay, and we want to go ahead and verify is this is an exponential, so base e raised to the power of 2.565. Is this approximately 13? So we'll check e to the power of 2.6, no, 5.65, no, 5.65, there we go. It is approximately 13, okay? So that is accurate, which we would expect it to be, right? Okay, so 2.565, all right. Okay, um, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to stop the video here. Uh, the next video will focus on um, applying uh, what we just did here to context problems and then also looking at some context and, and evaluating the domain and the range uh, with relation to uh, logarithms. Okay, catch you next time. Peace.